What's up, guys? What's up, guys? All right, guys. So Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, you guys? What? Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the VZ Build channel. What's up, VC Bill fam? So, today we're over here at Anthony's shop. We are going to be doing a complete rebuild on the cylinder head. You just got it back from the machine shop. It's decked, the valve seats were cut. You have the same Ferrera 6000 series, I think. Is it 6000 or 600? Yeah, it's 6000. 6000 series uh, spoon valves. These valves are top of the line. This is what everybody uses in the industry. I've always used them, never had an issue. So, as you can see, we were doing the time lapse. We uh, removed all the, oh, there goes the GoPro. <laughs> we removed all the valve seat, or the valve seals from the intake side. Now we're gonna be replacing them. So the big thing is here is we wanna clean all the old debris from underneath these because we don't want one of these seals to go on sideways or crooked because, uh, let's see, here's an old one. You can see in the inside, that coating, see how it's all beat up? That's from removing it. But the same thing can happen installing and you won't really realize what's going on and this would be purposeless. So the big thing is cleaning all, all those up and we're gonna lubricate the new ones when we install them. And we're gonna use a 10 mil socket, just a regular six point. This is an old one for demonstration, but you can see it fits right in there and doesn't hit that seal and just fits over that cup. We'll put some lubrication in there. We'll make sure that we push this on with our fingers nice and straight We'll put this guy on there and we'll take an extension or a hammer and just kind of knock it on slowly. We'll have it on time lapse for you guys so you don't have to watch a thousand of them. Really simple, but we figured we'd show this whole build process and just kind of go through time lapse and explain how we're doing it. <laughs> that worked out exactly how I planned it. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've got all the new valve seals installed, went over that real quick with the time lapse, we're going to go ahead and install these valves. Now, a lot of people use assembly lube, which I was just about to do, but it's proper in practice with, with how they were installed stock by Honda. And this is so that you don't have a thick substance as of like assembly lube that will stick around and actually burn. The motor oil will displace itself with the rest of the motor oil in the head. So we've dipped that in just plain motor oil. And go ahead and kind of make sure we're not getting drips everywhere. And this is the order that he had them installed from the machine shop. I'm not sure if he cut the seats perfect for each valve, but there's no, you know, no need to take a, a chance on that. So. We're just gonna go through and do each one of these valves. The reason they're not going all the way in is because the pad underneath is keeping them from dropping, but they'll slide right in once that's uh, turned over. That's what you're looking for right there. Alright. So 
now. Make sure these are all nice. Jump out at us. Turn the cylinder head up. And I'll turn it towards you guys. So get in near that seat. You should be able to see it just push right through. Nice and easy. Nothing's fighting us, right? So if you're rebuilding your stock cylinder head and you're using the OEM valves, if one of these valves doesn't push through nice and smoothly, that means you got a bent valve stem. So it's time to replace that valve. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna come through and repeat the process on the exhaust side. Bam, those are all nice and seated, everything's good. There was no issues, so we know we're good there. Do the same thing on the exhaust side, flip it back over, and then we'll go through uh, installing the valve springs and all that good stuff. So pick back up with you. installing his cam uh, we got the LMA soaking in oil if you guys know any like outsource LMAs like LMA deletes that work for these series let us know I don't know of any but we're gonna be using stock ones we got them cleaned out as best we could and soaking in fresh motor oil and he's got his Brian Crowler cam I don't know what it's a stage 2 turbo cam It's sticky. That, that lube, it's like gun lube after sitting for a while. So good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. Probably a little surface. No, oh, that might be paint. I'm not sure. That might be a marker paint. That doesn't look like rust. So, you Something know, new, new. The new. It's got to spray it off with some parts cleaner real quick. Make sure to get all the old whatever grease they have on it that they, they ship it with. We don't need that in there. And then we'll lubricate all these journals. I'm going to make sure they're nice and clean. Drop the cam in. Put the, the girdle back on. These only go in one direction. On single cams, you, you don't have... Uh, VTEC on the exhaust side, but you do on the intake side, so it's a pretty easy indicator, and the rocker pads will line up like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and just record it on the GoPro, that way we can actually pick the stuff up, and uh, I'll pick back up with you after that.
that's it. So, got the head all assembled completely. GoPro died, so we didn't get all the footage, but like always, real straightforward, easy stuff. Um, quick recap on everything that's in the cylinder head. There's Ferrera 6000 series valves. They're the spoon style for uh, boost. There's Skunk 2 Alpha series springs and retainers. They're single spring, but they I can't remember exactly what the seat pressure is. Plenty enough for what we need. Titanium retainers, Super Tech seals, AM cam gear, port polish, all the works, completely clean, redecked, fresh valve cut, the whole deal. So the cylinder head is pretty much ready to be assembled onto the block. He's got the block all done, wrapped up, other than the oil pan and a couple other little things. So within the next week or so, we should be able to actually get this motor in the car, get it going, which he's super, super excited. excited about. I mean, so I don't know if I've covered this in any of the videos, but here, you want to flip the light on? Shop some this, per usual. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you work on them. So this is his 1998 Honda Civic EX Coupe. We went through and shaved the engine bay, the majority of stuff that didn't need to be there. It has a sonic gray pearl, is the finish, a ton of 2K clear coat. He's rebuilt the subframe completely, converted it over to a manual rack, no longer um, power steering. He's got everything rebuilt. You guys seen all that. So. It's a pretty nice setup. Can't wait to see what actually happens. We got quite a bit more to do, but we're one step closer. So if you guys like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and see you on the next one. I'm playing on that. Be real.